And then they find the pocket constitution, and they're going, oh, my God, I can't believe it. She's one of them. And they're going, what are we going to do with this? I, I don't know. Is she allowed to have it? I don't think so. Good Lord, we got one of them. We got paraphernalia. These are quotes. I ought to play that. They're just like, <laughs> I got one of the people that loves America. What are we going to do? Our boss told us about these. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. Let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors, HomeGain.com. This is the place to get you started buying or selling a home, finding a realtor, and getting any real estate questions answered. Go to homegain.com and see what I'm talking about. All you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to homegain.com. Use their home sale maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's HomeGain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. All right, my friends, he is still in Spain, about to leave. Bilderberg officially ended yesterday, but now we have a reporter on from American Free Press. He's also deputy editor uh, who can recap what happened Friday evening, Saturday, and Sunday. We got Charlie Skelton popping in for about 10 minutes at the bottom of the hour. London Guardian reporter, he reports he's now been detained. He was inside right before they shut the resort down and got the intel that they were really threatened, that a lot of members didn't show up. They were particularly scared of yours truly from my bullhorning of them uh, and that they said that, well, that's why our welfare state is too big. We need to make the public so poor they can't afford to even come to these events. See, that's why they want to bankrupt society. So you're so poor uh, you're literally starving to death so the Bilderberg Group can fly around above you in their jet aircraft like they're God. Uh, it's in Bloomberg. It's all over U.S. news. It's all over foreign news. I have to say this is the biggest rout in Bilderberg history. Jim Tucker agreed when he was on Friday. 
Uh, he's already flying back to the U.S. He's going to be on for a full report later in the week, our final report on Bilderberg uh, until next year. Uh, we also uh, have the fact that uh, Bill Gates was there. Other people were there. The news is reporting, Bloomberg is reporting that Bernanke uh, didn't show up, but our intel is that he was there. I know Bernanke was there in 2006 and 2008, of course, chairman of the Federal uh, Reserve. But the bad news is the majority of them for the first time are greenlighting an attack on Iran. Uh, that doesn't mean it's 100 percent, but it's all going in that direction. And, of course, Tucker in 2002 said the attack won't be in 02 when the media was saying it would be, including the Washington Post. He said Donald Graham, the publisher, was there. It's going to be March of 03. He said that over a year before. He was correct. Uh, and so the fact that Iran is green-lighted is very, very scary. Uh, to give us the latest developments and go over those points I just made is Mark Anderson of AmericanFreePress.net. Mark, thanks for coming on with us. Uh, you're welcome, Alex. Uh, it's been a very interesting last 24 hours in particular. Um, the route that you're talking about, I believe you mean how they were kind of smoked out of here in a way. Um, the understanding from talking to the hotel repeatedly, uh, uh, badgering them for press conferences, badgering them for information, not letting up one bit, was that uh, you couldn't get in there publicly in the Dolce Hotel till today at noon. Well, they were gone out of here yesterday evening. And the meeting was really supposed to last until tomorrow. This morning, traditionally, according to my colleague Jim Tucker, they always have their Monday breakfast before they depart. I think they were the last man standing, the last Bilderberg out of here was probably maybe 9 p.m. last night. And I talked to a lot of different Was that people. Etienne Davignon? I'm sorry? Who was the last to leave? Oh, I don't know specifically. I just know that it seems that all the publicity just kind of made them uh, turn tail and run a little bit. Um, maybe not in a fleeing fashion. I, I'm not going to say they fled, but I think it just got a little too inhospitable. For well, them. by route, their entire agenda's in trouble. They're now all over the newspapers worldwide. The Drudge Report every day. The Bloomberg's going, okay, there is a global government. Okay, this is suspicious. You know, where were you, Bernanke? Obama's their puppet. That's in the news. Uh, Tucker said that they, Bilderberg sources told him that one Bilderberg group member said, we're about whipped on climate change taxes, uh, but their race on the whole is starting World War III. Well, what you said about Iran certainly uh, rings pretty true. Just how close they are to that is very difficult to say. Uh, Bill Gates' appearance here brought about uh, some confirmation that he was here under one guise, but his actual reason for being here was to try and sell uh, Zapatero, the Spanish pr uh, prime minister who gave the opening address, like most nationals do that host the meetings, try and sell him on the, the green tax, I, I think otherwise known as the carbon tax. And that could drastically drive up energy costs and lead to this uh, impoverishment you were uh, referring to. In, in exactly. And we know Greece it was the first to adopt the green jobs that take two jobs for every new job. And, 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 and even the Spanish leaders have said that was the coup de grace that killed their economy. Yeah, so it seems Bill Gates used a disingenuous excuse to get here just to generally counsel the PM on the economy, but it was specifically about that tax. Barcelona, June 5th, Saturday, 1,000 anti-Israeli marchers on the flotilla thing, but 200 anti-Bilderberg marchers joined them. 1,200 people in the center of Barcelona. Absolutely amazing. Um, what about Jim's intel? Because I know you, you went with him. Uh, anything else that he said about the fact that uh, one of the Bilderberg members said we're about whipped on the carbon tax? Well, I don't know about that one. I, I would be less than honest if I could answer that one, uh, if I tried to answer that definitively. Um, all I know is Gates was here to discuss it. But where they went on that, I don't know. I think part of the, the situation where it seems they really had to rush through their business and kind of uh, uh, get out of here, you know, maybe they left some unfinished business or some loose ends. Um, at any rate, um, you know, that some other miscellaneous came through. They, they spent just about a cool million on renting the place and for all their executive chefs every night and all sorts of uh, about 600, 600 to 800 uh thousand euro for just their security supposedly the spanish taxpayers don't have to pick all that up it's reimbursed so that's just some miscellaneous matters but uh everything's just kind of coming together plank by plank here 
but the the real story here in, in the brief time we have is is that the the media uh, attention was so great that um, I think they really had to kind of abbreviate everything and, and, and get on out of here. They know they're not welcome. It's an inhospitable place, perhaps anywhere that they'll go now. I think the, the, the bottom line is that the news doesn't remain a flash in the pan or, or doesn't, doesn't be too sporadic but becomes long-term sustained coverage of what they're doing. And that's a critical point for independent media and, and regular media. Well, yeah, Paul Dornan of Romania.